Hey, it's Jeff, Green Country Custom Baits. We've got a spray session for you today. We've got a couple nice bodies for a customer that uh, wants it in the old fashioned, but tried and true, Fire Tiger Crawl. Green Country Way. Let's go spray some paint. Okay, so we got a white base on, lips taped off per customer request, and we're gonna we're gonna lay down some yellow. Just gonna give it a good heavy coat on the bottom half of the lure. We'll go ahead and hit this rock crawler as well. Top, we're gonna to throw our green down a little darker toward the top and let it fall down into that wet yellow. See when you get those little specks on there. That's caused from not good taking your time with your airbrush. And when you always, when you spray paint, finish with air. If you don't, you'll get a spot like that. But we're gonna cover that all up anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. a good heat set on both those colors. Okay, after heat setting it, I noticed that tail, we need to bring that green on down to cover that white up. The yellow looks to be in good shape. So let's come back over at the top of this only mainly the back and the very edge of the shoulders with a little more of the fluorescent green. Yeah, that looks good. Need to get it down the shoulders just a little bit more on that one. We're gonna load up just a little more green. that green come down just a little bit lower and just a little bit darker on top even though it doesn't really matter we're going to put a darker green over that this one needs that angle your brush just spray down them sides mainly hitting the shoulder area and letting it fall down Second color we're going to put down our back is a dark green. Pretty wide band, just the nose of that bait, get around my eyes. Hitting the edge of those shoulders.
get a little fluorescent down the belly. Same thing on our wart. Little heat set. Okay, so next up we got a crawl pattern we need to put on it, and we're going to scale the scale the sides as well as the belly on this one. So we got our brush loaded with black, and Tip dry off the needle. Next up, we're going to flip it back over. I actually am going to use my helping hands on this. A lot of painters use these. Uh, okay, we'll use a little insane custom stencil here to. And we'll start in the. Whoa, wrong color. Did you see that? Man. Wouldn't hurt anything, but we don't want to make that mistake. I'm going to start in the middle. Blow it.
you cut this thing in half. And I always like to put a little texture in it. Just use a little bit of some of these. Little orange. Makes it a little more lifelike. All right, so before we get out of there, of course, we had a white base coat, we did Audubon yellow. Uh, our back color, our first back color was fluorescent green. Our belly color was fluorescent orange. We went over the top of our back color with the dark green, which is a mark, uh, excuse me, a moss green by Wicked. And of course, transparent black for all of our claw, crawl markings and, and uh, in this situation, our eye color as well. So uh, appreciate you guys checking out the channel and uh, hope this was informative to you. Let me know if there's anything that I could do a little bit better as far as explaining things. Uh, hoping we got our, our camera angle a lot better now, and uh, appreciate you stopping in, and we'll see you next Saturday.